Hi, I'm Kyle with Razorback Off-Road, here to talk you through the install of our new 2024 Razor XP rock sliders. We have a two-door and a four-door version. We're going to start with the two-door, stick around, we'll do the four-door version next. Let's walk over to the table, take a look at the parts, hardware, and tools that you're going to need for this install. All right, so here on the table we've got our rock sliders, mounting brackets, hardware, and the tools that we're going to need. And the only tools you're going to need are a half-inch socket, I'd recommend an extension, and a ratchet. First step before we try to put anything on the machine is going to be to put our mounting brackets together. I'll show you in detail how to do the first one. The other three are done exactly the same way. So you're going to grab one of your wedges, one of your mounts, long bolt, and a washer, and we'll get these put together. So lay them out like this, get my washer put on, put it through the inside of the bracket, get my tools together. And I'm just going to do this by hand first, and we'll get things tightened on once we get it onto the machine. Get my tool on, get it lined up with my wedge, and just by hand spin it together. And all you need is a loose fit, because you want it loose so you can install it onto the machine. Okay, so like I said, that's the first one. You just repeat the same steps to do the other three, and then we're ready to put stuff on the machine. Mounting bracket a wedge, a long bolt, and a washer. Put the washer over your bolt. From the inside, put your bolt and washer through. Grab your wedge, line it up correctly. You can see how it's got the angles there. Grab our tool and thread them together. It can be a little bit of a juggle, but you'll get there. Okay, just like that. Okay, last thing to cover while we're still set up nicely on the table is we're going to get these last wedges installed onto the back end of each rock slider. Same process, grab a long bolt, grab a wedge, okay? This one, it can be helpful to use your socket, insert it through until the bolt comes out the back end, then you get it started. Okay, and we're going to repeat that for the other side. Bolt wedge, now that everything is assembled on the bench, we're ready to move over to the machine. So we're going to install the mounting brackets first and then we're going to throw the rail on top of it. So what we need to grab is a small mounting bracket, a large mounting bracket, you can see the size difference and our tools, which again is just a half inch socket on an extension and a ratchet. So now we're at the machine with our two brackets. Our small one goes in the front, large one goes in the back. And you'll want to pay attention to the orientation. They have an angle to them. So when you insert them into the frame, you want them to angle out a little bit, okay? So we can just set them in place, front and back, they're not gonna fall out. Then we can take our ratchet, So one thing to note is we want to leave these brackets a little bit loose so we have some adjustment room. So right now you can see that it's loose, but maybe a little bit too loose. So snug it down, but to where I can still move it back and forth. Okay, and repeat for both of them. Okay, so we've got these snug down. I can still move them, which is good. Okay, last thing to note is the orientation of these. So on the front mount, we've got the flat top cut here that tells you that the right side is up. And on the back, your hardware is down in this low position and you've got the tubing cutouts at the top. Okay, now we're ready to grab the rail and we can do the final install on this. Now that our mounting brackets are on this side of the machine, we're ready to put the rail on. So you're gonna grab four of your bolts, your ratchet, the rail, and we'll head back to the machine. Back to the machine, I'm gonna set down my tool, my hardware. I'm gonna start with this mounting bracket in the back. There's a location in the back, we slide it into place. Once we've got that rear mount plug located, you just hold it in place, get our hardware started just with your fingers, then we come back through and tighten it all down. You can use an impact on this if you want to, it'll go a little bit faster, but we just wanted to show you that you didn't need it.
Now that all of these bolts are tightened down, the last thing for us to do is to come back through each of our mounting locations and tighten those bolts down. Make them nice and snug. Okay, and don't forget that third one all the way in the back here. One thing that's worthy of note, if you have these extended coverage fenders with the little rubber mud flaps, the tubing will interfere with the mud flap. So you can do one of two things. You can either remove it completely like we did, or you can do a little clearance cut to clear around the tubing. Your choice. Now that we've finished the first side, we're gonna repeat those exact same steps and put the other side of the rail on. All right, that wraps up our install for the two-door version. It's worthwhile to go around one more time, check all your bolts, make sure they're nice and tight. Now we'll move on to the four-door version. Okay, now that we've materialized in the four-door and the full setup, it's much the same as the two-door, right? Same sort of mounts, hardware, tools. One thing that I didn't mention on the two-door is that you're gonna need a torque wrench, and that is for torquing down the wedge nuts, okay? so. One additional change over the two-door is the four-door has a large, medium, and small mounting bracket, and it goes front, center, and rear. So we'll make sure we've got that straightened out before we get it mounted on the machine. So again, just like with the two-door, the first thing we're gonna do is install the wedge nuts onto each of our mounts and onto the back of the rails. Okay, so we'll start with one. Again, all you need is half inch socket on an extension. Another trick if you're having a hard time with getting these put through is you can just set it in the end of your extension. Helps you put it through, get it lined up, get them started. Something that can help so you don't have to do so much twisting later on when it's on the machine is get it twisted in until the end of the stud is about at the back end of the wedge nut. Okay, and we'll repeat this for the middle and the back. The last one to do is the wedge nut on the back of the rock slider. So I'll just turn it over on the table so you can see it. Same trick, stick the bolt in the end of your socket. Run it through. Run it in until it's about at the end. That way it's loose enough to go in, but tight enough that you don't have to spend a whole bunch of time tightening it. Okay, and we'll repeat this for the mounts for the other side. Okay, so here we've got the three mounts side by side so you can see the difference. There's a short, a medium, and a long, which corresponds to the front, middle, and rear of the vehicle. Now we're ready to put the mounts on the vehicle, so I'm gonna grab my half-inch socket on an extension, put it on my gun, 
grab my brackets and head over to the vehicle. So here at the vehicle, we've got our mounts laid out in the correct order and orientation. Our short in the front, medium in the middle, long at the back. Start at the front. Place it into the tube. And just like with the two door, we're gonna tighten this down to where it's snug, but I can still move it by hand. Do the same with the other two. Okay, now we've got them snugged into place, but they can still move. Get them oriented vertically as best you can, and then we're ready to throw the rail on. Okay, now we're ready for the rail. Grab six bolts off the table and your rail. Just set the bolts down. We're gonna start at the back end, just like on the two door, and we'll slot in the rearmost mount. Okay. Hold the rail up in place and we'll get a bolt started. Okay, so now that we've got one bolt started to hold us up, I'd recommend starting from the back and working your way towards the front. Bring the gun with you, snug it all down, it'll help you get everything started and going. Okay, now that all of our facing bolts are tightened down and in place, I can go back through, and it doesn't matter what order you do this in, but tighten down each one of the mounting bolts, and then we'll torque it down to 25 foot-pounds. Okay, and remember, we're torquing to 25 foot-pounds each of the wedge nuts, so each of the mounts that holds the rail onto the body. Now we're finished with this side, we're ready to go do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Okay, once all your bolts are tight and your wedge nuts are torqued down to 25 foot-pounds, you're all done. That completes the installation for our 2024 Razor XP rock sliders for both the two-door and the four-door version. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the trail.